Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about what is so scary about being enough on your own. Those of you who have some kind of relationship addiction, I say that word lightly, because what I really mean is a codependency pattern, or if you feel like I'm not feeling safe without a partner, this video is for you. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, please click the little subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications when I release new videos. And if you've been with me for a while, thank you so much and welcome back. Today, I wanna to talk about this interesting topic that I get to explore a lot with people who feel like they may have some codependency or who really truly just feel like their worth, part of their identity, whether you guys wanna admit it or not, <laughs> there's a lot of you out there, your worth, part of your identity, and that sense of safety and security have to come from a partner, have to come from a significant other. It's not your fault. This is a cultural condition that we have been brought up into to really feel, maybe even a world condition at this point, to really feel like we're not enough on our own. We need to find our soulmate, our other half, our life partner, you know, whatever. But until we do, we're on the search for that because we can't just be enough in our own power because you know why? Most of it's in the shadow. Because why? Because we've been told that something's wrong with us or something isn't acceptable enough or something isn't successful enough or whatever in the modern day world. And that's BS. But that's what most of us have experienced from childhood till now. And it's really up to us to question those rules because they're not truths to really look at, is it scary to really shine in my light solo? So I want to dive into this. I always like to talk a little bit about highly sensitive people when it comes to relationships because that is me, but also because that's the majority of my clients are highly sensitive and there's always these themes week to week in my work. And this week, a huge theme was really people start getting scared when they do the empowerment work with me because you start to realize, oh God, I've been projecting onto that person or that thing. I don't really need them. And it feels exciting, but it also feels scary because you're like, oh shit, am I going to be alone? Loneliness, right? And what's funny is when, this is weird, we're taught or we think or we feel that if I'm alone, I'm screwed. I'm going to be lonely. I'm going to have a terrible life. There's going to be nobody there for me if I need them. What we're really afraid of is our own capability. What we're really afraid of is the fact that we actually probably don't need as much as we think we do from others because we haven't gone in to really dig it back out, up out of our shadow within ourselves. The reason we do this is because we fear our light. Look at Marianne Williams, Williamson. Mary Williamson. She talks about it all the time, Course in Miracles. So you're afraid of your light. You're not afraid of your darkness. You know, in my new course that will be launching later this year, it's called Shadow Work. I talk a lot about the golden shadow. Sure, there's the dark shadow, the parts of you that you think aren't good enough, but there's also the golden shadow, the parts of you that really shine, that got your parent jealous of you or got you bullied in school because other people felt threatened, that part of you that didn't really need to be dependent, but your parent wanted you to be dependent. All these weird, different scenarios, right? You know what I'm talking about, though. But I'm spitting them all out there because it's not just one thing that does this. There's many things that make us think it's not safe to shine, it's not safe to be who I am, it's not safe, especially on my own. And that's because we are in a society and a world that wants you to think that you're not as powerful as you are because then you won't be dependent on things like pharmaceuticals and all these other things, okay? I'm not gonna go into it because I could go down a rabbit hole, but I won't do that today. But if you really look at how things are set up, up until now, they have not been set up in a way for you to say you can totally depend on your own immune system and your own emotions and your own thoughts and perceptions. We're constantly taught this pack mentality that if you're not like them, you're wrong. So abandon yourself to be like them. But that's not really going to make you happy because it's not your inner guidance. It's an external guidance system. So uh, we get all confused and then we don't know how to get back home to our wise guide inside, which is my work in the world because after going through all that and disconnecting from my inner guidance, I had to learn how to reconnect and then live authentically from my own insight and intuition. And we could all do that. And how do we do that? 
by realizing that we are totally enough on our own. Now, it's one thing to mentalize that, intellectualize that. It's a far greater thing to have the experience and the wisdom of that by doing that. Literally forcing yourself to look at the parts in your life, the things in your life that you actually depend on for confidence, security, sense of safety, a sense of enoughness, a sense of belonging. Look at those things and then feel into how you would feel if one, two, all of them went away. What if all of those externals went away? What would you have to do? How would you have to dig internally to get that same feeling and not fight that fear of, oh my gosh, I'm depending on myself, but instead embrace that courage to say, I'm going to depend on myself and see what I can do. Now, some of you might be saying, well, what if I can't do anything and I'm a failure and then it confirms that I'm a failure? No, it just means you have to try harder or try differently or do something else. See, that's the thing too, is people like, we really stop before we start. We think, well, that looks scary. I'm not going to do it. I failed. Okay. Well, that looks scary. This is what I do. That looks scary. I don't want to do it at all. Get real about how you feel. See and heal. Don't want to do it at all, but I love myself so much and I really believe that I can and actually I know that I will. So whatever it takes, I'm going to do that because that's what I feel I desire and that's what I deserve and that's what I want. So you have to look at do I deserve, do I desire, and do I want? If not, we got to do a little bit of inner child work. We got to do a little bit of mirror work. But the reality is when you get clear on what it is that you want, even if fear comes in, fear is false evidence appearing real. Okay. Let's get clear on the fear. What is so scary about this? Oh, the biggest fear, failure. Okay, well, if you fail, you can try again. But see, what we do is we attach meaning to that failure. If I fail, I'm unworthy. If I fail, it's true, I'm not lovable. If I fail, we attach it to the unresolved issue inside of us. If we've resolved a lot of the issues inside of us, we're not attaching it to anything. See, oftentimes people say, oh, things are happening to me because that's what I deserve. No, things are happening to you and you're perceiving that it means you don't deserve because you still feel like you don't deserve inside. Take that in. However we feel inside is going to be reflected to us by our perception of an event, not by the reality of the event. Think about it. How many times in your life has something happened? You're like, oh my gosh, it means I have my abandonment wound came up. My abandonment wound came up. Well, your abandonment wound came up because you still have abandonment issues that are unresolved. But if you resolve them, you ain't going to feel abandoned. You're just going to say, wow, that person wasn't right for me. I promise. So back to the whole relationship thing. We are always being reflected to us an issue or an unresolved issue that's within us. And until we get to the place where we think, what if it's actually safe to be enough on my own? Who would I be proving wrong? Is it scary to prove someone wrong, a parent or someone who told me I wouldn't amount to anything? Is it scary to realize that you might know more about you than the entire world? Is it scary to think that I can depend on myself and I won't be alone because I'll attract a lot of people when I'm in a place of attraction because I'm happy and I'm abundant, but maybe not needing someone is something I have to look at. People often decide they need to be dependent and need others so that they're not alone. But the interesting thing about it is if you're dependent on others, say in an emotional way or a financial way or whatever way, if you're dependent, you're always going to feel powerless to the dependency or to the thing you're depending on. The most amazing thing I love to teach in my courses is to self empower and know that any time you're dependent on something outside of you is just a projection of your own power that you're afraid to own. And when you own it, sure, things might change and shift and realign, but you're never going to feel dependent on something not dependable ever again. You heal that codependency gap. You rise up and say, shit, it might be scary to only have to depend on me and be enough on my own. Why is that so scary? Probably because it's uncertain territory and you never did it before. Uncertainty, in my opinion, is the biggest fear out there. I said failure, but to be honest, personal experience, uncertainty is the worst. Because when your uncertain fear comes in and says, uh oh, the worst thing's gonna happen. But the reality is, think about how many times you feared the worst and has the worst actually happened? No, it hasn't. So if you can assume the worst or see the worst or fear the worst, 
and see that the worst doesn't happen, then you're already okay. You're already okay. So it's really about walking through those fears to claim our truth in a deep, profound, powerful way. When we do that, we start to really realize through the experience of doing it that it is not scary to be enough on your own. It's actually really scary to keep believing that you're not. I hope this message served you guys well. Please check the links below. Shadow Work Waitlist is down there. Emotional Rehab Waitlist is down there. Truth Room Time Monthly Membership is right there to sign up for and see me and your other tribe members every Friday morning. What else can I tell you? Oh, please go to Instagram and follow me there or anywhere else on social media because I'm active and I can't wait to talk to more of you on a daily basis. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will see you soon.